<laughs> What's up, guys, and welcome to Double Crown Talk Time. My name's Richard. And I'm Matt. And uh, today's Friday, May. What's the date 13th. today? May 13th. Friday the 13th. This is going to be a bad video. I'm going to die. <laughs> You're going to die on camera. Yeah. I'm still going to post it, though. Yeah, do it. So, yeah, uh, today is Friday, May 13th. Something special happened on Tuesday. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you what. Yeah. Um, I think Doom so, I came think out Obama today. Did something. Oh, did he? Yeah. Did he put out? Uh, yeah. It was a rap video. Do really? No. Oh. <laughs> um, I guarantee he will after he leaves office. He'll do something silly. Maybe. He'll like be in a vi- music video or something. Uh-huh. Probably. I don't know. Either way, Doom came out today. So we're today. We're gonna talk about Doom. I don't f- really feel like it. All right. Well, then what would you like to talk about, Matt? I think we should talk about Uncharted 4. Oh. I know we're not really prepared to talk about that, but it's something hmm. that I've I don't been considering. know if I'm a very big fan of Uncharted. Yeah. I know. If anyone, like any Naughty Dog games, like just never really kind of resonated with me. You know? Yeah. Everyone knows I'm the Naughty Dog super fan. Yeah. I know <laughs> them all by name. What's their names? Uncharted 1, mm-hmm. Drake's Fortune, okay. Uncharted 2, Siberian Boogaloo, <laughs> Drake's Deception, <laughs> Uncharted 3, Fuck This Desert, <laughs> and Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. Awesome. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, anyways, uh, you probably saw the, the title of the video, so this was a complete waste of your time and ours. We're reviewing Uncharted 4 today. Disclaimer. No spoilers. Unless you want to spoil it. I mean, I know people don't play Uncharted for the story. <laughs> Let's get into that again. <laughs> but, I mean, no one plays Uncharted for the story. No. It's, it's all about... It's the, all about the platforming. Yeah. I mean, climbing. That's <laughs> why I play it. Um, shit. <laughs> I've, I've been waiting to do that. <laughs> I want to just say that so bad. Good. Uh, Good. <laughs> yeah, we're reviewing Uncharted 4. Uh, yeah, no spoilers because people don't... I, I don't care if people don't care about the story. I don't, no spoilers because we haven't beaten it, so we can't spoil it yet. Yeah. Um, I'm on chapter 19, I think. I'm just about done. I feel like I'm at like 15 or 17, somewhere yeah, in there. So like a, two hours maybe behind me or something. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so uh, what, 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 how are you feeling so far, Matt? I'm feeling good. You're feeling good. Mm-hmm. On a scale of Uncharted 1 to Uncharted 3... How are you feeling? Uh, Uncharted 2. Okay. Which I... Well, You're one of them gross fucking like wrong people. Yeah. That, okay. Uncharted 2 I thought played better. May not have had the best story, but the controls felt good in I'm that move my mic just a tad. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to scoot in too. So I, I was always more inclined to 2 because it felt tighter, more precise. Okay. So I feel like Uncharted 3 has some of that tightness back. Sure. In the controls. I only got frustrated once because uh, Nate tried to... uh, I was trying to take cover, and he kept rolling sideways instead of taking cover. I was like, just do it. I've had some weird cover issues, but there's not a lot of gun fighting in this game. (laughs) Especially compared to, like, 1, which was the one I played most recently. There is kind of, like, a pretty big stealth emphasis. True. Uh, Well, which... Option. Maybe not emphasis. They... I feel like it is encouraged based on... Some of the trophies. Well, that, yeah, I mean, there's that, always been like stealth kill trophies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like the there's one where it's like get through this area mm-hmm. without being seen. Oh, I think that's like a really specific one though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, which that area was difficult. Was I tried. Uh, <laughs> I I like, I uh, I'm not not trying to, too hard on the trophies first time through, but uh, yeah, the stealth is cool. I mean, it's well, we we talked about this a little bit beforehand. Uh, there's a lot of like there's there's a not not a lot but there is definitely code ripped straight out of the last of us uh uh-huh. and put into here um the buddy thing i was talking to you about that one of the the devs at naughty dog um wrote about how he did like the ai and the buddy system and stuff like that straight out of uncharted or sorry straight out of uh, the last of us but then mm-hmm. like updated for uncharted made better you know all that kind of stuff which it, it it's kind of crazy because i would not have like consciously recognized that unless you told me that really yeah. you didn't like see that with like sam throughout the whole game like through throughout the uh, so far i've been like oh cool like he's doing things that make sense like oh, oh the, he's leading me to areas that i overlooked that, or, so that's new so like that's yeah. a newer thing but yeah that uh 
Like just, just little things like that. Or it's just like they've integrated it so well into the game itself that mm-hmm. it's not like, oh, this is cool. Because like in uh, Bioshock Infinite, like uh, Elizabeth, I think was her name. Mm-hmm. She would like pick up random items that you missed and like throw them at you. But it was so jarring because she'd be like, book or catch and then like throw you a candy bar or something. It's like, <laughs> uh, thanks. Thanks. I, okay. Yeah. I'm fine with this. But this is. This is different the fact where it's just, like, more of a suggestion than forcing you to do something. Yeah, I think uh, one of the big differences in this game than the other ones is these... And they, they talked about this at, like, E3, I think, but they were they made it, always made it a point to say, like, there it's a linear game, but it's, like, open linear, I think they called it or some shit, where basically, uh-huh. like, there's, like, ten different ways that are all gonna lead to the next area, uh-huh. but you can go any way you want and you're going to end up there as long as you head in that direction sure um and i have gotten like lost <laughs> uh-huh. and like you know i have a poor sense of direction in games and uh-huh. and you know like playing dark souls with me i'm always turned around but um like i'm in these big open areas and i'm like i kind of want i want to explore so i drive around or run around a little bit and i'm like fuck how do i, how do I get where am i at <laughs> like i've realized like i'm at the beginning again and see another you have to run straight down the middle but um yeah, I think, like, that's really cool that I think, you know, and this just kind of goes into that article, but he talked about, like, after, like, a certain amount of time, if you can't figure out where to go, that's when Sam's like, hey, maybe we should check out over here. Mm-hmm. And, you know. Uh, the, the most notable yeah. example that I can think of is going through an area that it kind of, like, wraps around mm-hmm. to where you get to a spot you could see from down below. And I went in that direction, and Sam was like, oh, "Hey, hey, I uh, think I think I think we came from over there." Yeah, <laughs> but he said it more like Sam and less like, like, like me Matt. stuttering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I was like, "Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Now I see it. That's neat. Mm-hmm. I will go the other way." Sure. Yeah. It. It's. I mean, the the thing that tipped me off about like the buddy system kind of thing being kind of pulled straight from. Uh, the, the Last of Us, um, outside of the way they kind of like physically interacted, was like the verbal interaction. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You've always had like the back and forth banter between like Nate and Sully, but it was like this is on an entirely different level. I think like there's the optional conversations, which That's, is like I was actually going to bring that up. The like press triangle for more information, yeah. like a little which is bubble. a collectible, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I was like, this is super cool. Yeah, I really liked it. Whenever you would just like Ellie would say something that like either snarky or like mm-hmm. observant and then you turn around there's a triangle buttons floating over your head it's yeah. like oh sick yeah like i can argue with her or something yeah <laughs> um <clears throat> i forgot what I, I forgot where i was going with that more last of us uh Ye- oh comparison. yes so yeah the, like the banter but between like just like you know i i was um there was the i'm trying to remember the, the specific area it's one of the the, the when you're the clay in the with the jeep or yeah. whatever like there's a whole bunch of different ways you can go and this is where i got lost but i was like picking up treasures like the collectible treasures mm-hmm. and i would hop out of the truck and then so like i'm gonna hang back here with sam and i and Nate was like okay and i'm like running through and i hear Sully and sam just having a conversation yeah. about his time in jail and i'm like god damn it's so it's so neat. Like and then and then the best part was like one time I got out when they when Sam was telling a story. Uh-huh. I get back in, he goes, Hey, so what were you saying again? And he picks back up, like, oh yeah, that's right. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like Oh, uh, like that it's, so it's, like that whole area. There's and there's another thing that I'll I'll go into in a second, but like that whole area just Oh It really immerses you. Yeah. Like it's crazy that a third person game like this can like make like draw you in yeah. so far. I this today. I think it was today. I was thinking about the game, and I uh-huh. was like, "What show or what movie?" Like straight up, I forgot <laughs> that it was Uncharted and it was a game. And I was like, "What fucking movie did I want?" Oh, and like it only took me a second, but like <laughs> afterwards, I was like, "What is wrong?" <laughs> like that's so bizarre. Um, but just just for you, this I know this is something that we talked about with Uncharted Three that I really wanted to bring up, and. Uh, we were talking about the little things, you know, like that, like that back and forth banter. The fact that the characters remember when you got out of the truck. Um, still, this is the same type of truck area. Um, you can get in from the jeep into the jeep any yeah. on any direction you yeah. want. If you get in on the side that Sully is on, he's sitting. He's sitting uh, passenger. Uh-huh. He will lean back <laughs> while you hop over him. And I and I saw that and just like dropped the controller. <laughs> and it, th- this was the same moment of like whenever. 
uh, in Uncharted 3, when he, like, touched the wall and went around the corner, I uh. was like, god damn. It's <laughs> the little things. <laughs> and, like, that's that's what Naughty Dog does so well, I think, mm-hmm. is they don't, like, they don't skimp on anything. You, I watched Drake fucking drive, like, back up and do the thing. I'm like, it looks like a real person driving. Uh-huh. Like, I, uh, I, it's just, it's so, like, it's, like, no detail was, like, skipped over. They mm-hmm. were, like, what happens when someone, like, would jump over into a Jeep? Like, get in a Jeep and do it right now. And they did this. And they're, like, cool. I we, wouldn't doubt it if we, they mocap. Yeah, the I was, like, thing. yeah, like, we need to make sure that's animated. Yeah. Because of that is what, like, nothing looks weird. Yeah. And, uh. The, the gas can, j- j- uh. Yeah, I mean, that's, I, yeah, I back. saw that in a Let's Play, and I was like, oh, man, that's, like, super cool, like, that's moving around, and the, the antenna's flopping around, but, like, you know, I'm like, okay, well, like, those are, like, I would expect Naughty Dog to do that, but there's, mm-hmm. they still f- find ways where I'm like, god damn, they thought of that, too. Like, I wouldn't have thought about that. It wouldn't have bothered me if it wasn't there, but the fact mm-hmm. that it was there... It, it just makes it that much better. Oh, yeah. There's, it's definitely something special yeah. with this uh, series, which um, kind of related. The game is so beautiful. Yeah. I don't know how they do it. I don't know either. I talked to... Um, I, I watch a, a Twitch stream sometimes of a... Um, she's a, a, a 3D modeler, and she mm-hmm. made uh, she makes Dota items now. But she's worked on like that Rift MMO and some yeah. other things. And uh, I talked to her last night. Yeah, I was talking to her. And I was like, "Hey, have you seen Uncharted 4? And uh, we were. I was just trying to. I was talking about polygons, and mm-hmm. I was like, "It's so beautiful. Like, do you have any idea how they do this shit?" Uh-huh. And she was like, "It's probably shaders. Like, I don't. know. They're geniuses. I don't know. Like, <laughs> so I had to look up what shaders were, and like, it's it's insane. So." Made a little bit more sense on how uh-huh. they do it. Um, I won't. I won't, I'm not going to define shaders for you. It, you know, that's. I'm not. A, I'm not an expert. Wikipedia article. Yeah, a li- go to the Wikipedia. Like, yeah, there's a a layman's term definition, which is basically like it's a program that like uh, specifies how things look. Like it could be anything. Okay. So it could be like it, it, yeah, and all kinds of stuff. So there was a, there was a little bit um, in that article from uh, um, the developer. Who mm-hmm. talked about um, what was it called? Um, not interpolation. It's it's a technique where instead of things like fading in and out, they like have the number of pixels mm-hmm. to like make it kind of transparent, but you can't actually make things transparent because that's like super taxing and hard. Like it's heavy to do that. Uh-huh. Um, and it was for like all the foliage. And how they were, like, able to, like, have so much foliage in the game still work. Yeah. Um, and then it was basically just, like, you know, you have, like, a square and then, like, pixels would come in and until it filled in all the way. And the farther you get away from something, um, you, you see it sometimes. I've seen it in, I saw it a lot in Metal Gear Solid Five, sure. Where, like, it looks ca- something kind of like wire mesh, sort of, that you can kind of see through it a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. It's okay. that. It's, okay. like, the, whatever that technique is. Um, Which Metal Gear Solid Five was another like fantastic looking game yep. that ran very well. <clears throat> yeah, so that makes sense. Exactly. Um, cool. But uh, yeah. I don't, otherwise, I don't know how it looks so pretty. <laughs> and I and I think a part of it is uh, similar to what I was saying, where like they mocapped like seemingly everything, and so it leads mm-hmm. back. It's like I think that is a huge part of how, why this game looks so good. They put all those little plastic balls over different types of plants. And, yeah. like, in a <laughs> no, not the plants. <laughs> no, uh, maybe, but. Uh, <laughs> As far as like, I I think like we're like you can only make a game look so good before you get to that weird uncanny valley sort mm-hmm. of situation. So there, I think that like especially with this game, I've been thinking about it a lot. Is there has to be that excuse me that breaking point where okay, how do we make this game look better without like actually having it look better? Uh huh. Like without having more pixels on the screen or more frames or you know anything. Sure. Like what can we do to make this game? like visually appear better and i'm like oh it's whenever he throws a shirt on the ground and it falls like a fucking shirt on the ground and i'm like god damn <laughs> you know what i mean like i'm like oh i bet this will look good and it looks better the animation was better than i thought it was going to actually look they put the <laughs> balls on a shirt and threw it on the ground like i don't know so i'm just like okay well <sighs> well as far as i know they shoot every single scene as they would shoot a movie. Yeah. Just without wardrobe. And then they, yeah, in mocap. I assume, I mean, that's, I don't know. Like, that's, that, that's, that's where it gets me, is it's like it, they make it believable without it having to look 
believable. It's uh, uh, I mean, it looks believable. Like there are some shots on my phone. Is that real life? <laughs> like, I don't know. It's um, it's like that that movie uh, a scanner darkly. I don't know what that what that method is no called idea. where it looks like a cartoon but mm-hmm. it's actually like shot on film or yeah. whatever. And rotoscoping? I, rotoscoping. That's exactly what it is. Boom. You got thank, it. Thank you uh, video degree. <laughs> it, it's I feel like it might be similar to that where they shoot everything and then just put it through the video game filter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's probably it. Um but yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, what about gameplay-wise? We've talked about how it looks. We've talked about the characters. Um, I know that you, when you saw the um, <clears throat> one of the gameplay trailers for it, uh-huh. whenever Nate went around one of his buddies in cover, he went around Sully. Uh huh. You like lost your fucking mind. Yeah. Which is cool. It's super. I know. Cool. I know why they do that now. But yeah. Um. It's the same code from Uncharted. I mean, sorry, The Last of Us. Yeah, it, it's just like a little thing that makes it so you don't have to shove your buddy out of cover. It just yeah. makes it more believable. Yeah. Like, because like Sully won't just like stand up and, and like, move in in like a turret <laughs> fire. Yeah. And while you're just like, yeah, fuck you, yeah, old man. You get can out like my young man use him as cover. Way. Like you kind of go behind him. Uh huh. Um, yeah. And that pretty much happens. Anything that you can land on or whatever. Yep. Um, the level design, fantastic. Sure. As always. But I mean, then there's the, you know, the whole new element of it, like being these big open sprawling spaces, mm-hmm. which are all still very interesting. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But like, even as far as in the smaller sections, I feel like Uncharted has always been very good at visually cluing you in on where you're supposed to go. Mm-hmm. And it's just kind of been refined over the years. Sure. Like, there, there was... I think uh, the joke in Uncharted 2 was if it's yellow, you can climb on it. Yeah. Like, it's that's kind gone. Of, that's like kind of almost, compl- I mean, it's still there. There's still places where you're like, that's obviously a handhold. Yeah. Like, I can get to that. They like, I mean, it would be stupid if it wasn't discolored at all because yeah. I'd be jumping at nothing. <laughs> but it looks more realistic. <laughs> totally. And uh, like, once again, like the cues that lead you in that direction are great. Mm-hmm. Like, there's the whole new mechanic of like sliding that yeah. they teach you. At the very beginning, yeah, and like later on, that's incorporated a lot in the level, and it's like, oh, I know exactly <clears throat> what I'm what supposed, I'm supposed to, do to do here. Yeah, and the rope, the rope. I really very like good. the rope. I so I've I've done the rope swing attack thing that they showed oh, in that really? show. I've did it. One, oh, it was so satisfying. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to do it again. It was like a stealth thing. Yeah, um, where I was like, oh, fuck, I hope this works. I hope this works. I hope this works. And I just like mashed all the buttons and he did it. And I was like, OK, I don't know which one made it work, but it, <laughs> it worked. Um, yeah, the rope is super cool. I mean, it's not like super useful. You know what I mean? Like I'm not doing like crazy acrobatic like attack moves with it. But I, I did do a cool like stealth thing to like like flanking a base took out a dude used the rope to get to like a main tower mm-hmm. and then stealth killed a bunch of guys on the like the main floor i think i, I think i know what area you're talking about yeah it, it, yeah and it was it was really satisfying mm-hmm. just to be like that mobile but also silent sure <laughs> yeah no i mean that's yeah that's really cool but i mean like if like the if i am spotted and it's a shootout i'm not like swinging around trying to do <laughs> shit like i'm not spider-man um but it's cool i mean it's it's it, fe- it feels nice you know what i mean like the momentum feels like it's there there's always of course going to be that uncharted like you probably shouldn't have made that jump but yeah. it kind of like you got a little gust of wind <laughs> to, like kind of pushed you a little farther than you needed to you know than you needed to go um <clears throat> but yeah shooting feels fine i mean i don't the change that they made the targeting reticule with the dot that moves based yeah. on the recoil you like it? I really like that. Yeah. It I mean, makes, it's, it's, it feels more realistic, even though it's like super unrealistic. Yeah. <laughs> but like, it's nice, like, whenever you're shooting. You can and, see which, like, I don't know. For me, it's weird because whenever I play shooting games or uh, shooting games, <laughs> uh, like, third, for third or first person shooters, then there's recoil. It's like, I have I struggle with recoil. Yeah. And while the recoil is here, I struggle with it because it fucks with my camera. Sure. And this is a lot easier for me to manage because, uh-huh. like, the camera stays still and isn't shaking around everywhere. Like, it's just the reticle showing me where I'm missing. And I'm exactly. like, I can handle that. Yeah. Because, like, um, if you're shooting full auto with an AK-47, yeah. it's just kind of like, uh Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which I, like, ha- I manage to get headshots all the time with the AK-47. <laughs> so I don't know. It's really silly. Yeah. Um, I also like uh, hip fire. The hit, the hit markers that show up whenever oh, I've, ne- I, I've only done it with shotguns and killed people. Like I'll just like shoot melee and just like <laughs> run through. Um, ba- basically, 
it's like the same idea with that dot, mm-hmm. except whenever you're blind firing, there's no dot, but it'll show you like the hit markers where they're hit the bullets. Oh, that's are cool. The body. That's cool. And I it's like I haven't noticed that. It's just a little thing that is kind of like, oh, okay, neat. Mm-hmm. Like, I have I have like a targeting reticule that's like this big, but it will show me where the bullets are going still sure. within it. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, the uh, the melee like combo attacks with you and Sam or you, you know, those are, neat. those are neat. Uh, I remember I did the first one like near the, near the beginning in like the, the uh, jail area. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Oh man, that was cool as fuck. Like <laughs> we took that dude down. <laughs> um, though that, that part, that's really cool. I feel like I don't like melee doesn't feel very viable. Mm-mm. I don't not, like, not like on higher difficulties. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm playing on moderate medium or whatever, like normal, whatever the first option was, I think is yeah. what I'm playing on. Um, so I, I don't know the default rather. Yeah, not the I think, first one. I, I think I'm not that's playing it on Explorer, dude. You should play it on Explorer. <laughs> I'll I'm, do the speed run on yeah, Explorer. Totally. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to think if there's any other any other gameplay tidbits. I mean, it's pretty much your typical. Like this is Uncharted. If yeah. you like Uncharted, you're going. Yeah, you, you, you pick like up your game. guns and you shoot them. You kill people. Um, uh, nothing, nothing like new, really. You know what I mean? It's been aside from the rope and like stealth stuff. Yeah. It's it's but like per- enemies. There's no new enemies. No really new guns that I've seen. I mean, there's like the 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 uh, flint. What do you call it? Flint shooter. You know what I'm talking. About? Have you gotten one of those? Mm-mm. Flint lock. They have flint locks. You can get a pirate gun. Oh, it's nice. like it's like the it's a one hit kill. Like like pistol oh, actually that is something new the uh, is it is it gold instead of white? the gold indicates that it kills them in one hit yeah yeah like that's uh, that's that's something that's pretty new like mm-hmm. the grenade launcher is gold uh, yep. and there's like a desert eagle mm-hmm. thing um the revolver uh, mm-hmm. yeah. like that the i i almost want to call it like it makes it feel like it's a rare gun so like you know that you're like oh okay this I, is going to make it a little bit easier, <clears throat> but I'm going to run out of ammo, mm-hmm. and there's not going to be more. Yeah, I, I don't like using those very often, but that's just me. It's fine if you're like, okay, uh, I'm going to be here a minute. Yeah. So there's going to be people <clears throat> and lots of ammo, mm-hmm. so whatever. As long as I can switch to a regular revolver after, totally mm-hmm. fine. Um, but yeah, I really like this game. Can't wait to beat it. I had a big story moment this morning. The story has really drawn me in. Mm-hmm. It, I mean, it, it only gets better like that. But I feel like, like it was like a lot, a lot of people talk about the ramp of the game, and I'm like, like I'm like, okay, I'm getting there, and then like I hit today, and it was just like, <laughs> I was like, oh fuck, I don't want to go to work. Like, oh man. Um, the the fact that like the beginning of the game, I I don't think I shot a gun for like the first two hours. Mm-hmm. And I was still like enthralled. Yeah, there's so, like again, like as far as Uncharted games go, the fights I don't want to say are few and far between, but not as often, not nearly as regular as they were. Yeah, in uh, Uncharted one, two, and three, especially uh-huh. one. But uh, and it, for me, it made it like it made the fights kind of difficult. Like I like the first like maybe two or three firefights, I struggled. Oh yeah, I like kept getting flanked, and I'm like, yeah. what the fuck is happening? Like, where am I supposed to go? Uh-huh. So I would go to the other side, and then they just come around. I'm like, what? Quit there's following there's me. like twenty dudes in one of me. Like, what am I supposed to do? This is unnormal. <laughs> like, I can't do. Cr- this is harder than Uncharted one. Uh-huh. Then I remembered how to play Uncharted, and we're good. To, yeah. We're good to go. But you just run around a whole lot. Yeah, <laughs> like it's just like running and jumping and like rolling and hoping you don't get hit one more time because then you're dead. Um, Seeing a guy with a grenade launcher and going shit, shit, yep. shit, <clears throat> shit. Yeah, and then everything's fine for mm. a second, and then another grenade launcher happens. Yep. Yeah, pretty much that. <laughs> I saw you were playing last night, and there was like the I think when you see the sniper enemies for the first time, and uh-huh. you're like behind a little rock, and they kept throwing grenades down at you, so you have to roll away. Then you get shot a whole bunch, and then you're like, "Fuck!" And then you have to get back in, but then they throw another grenade. And you're like, "God, I just won't stop. I just want to shoot you." <laughs> uh, that, that being said, like whenever I do die, though, it's always like the ragdolls are so silly that like I'm never mad. Yeah, I'm I've killed my like, oh, okay. I've killed myself a lot. Like. <laughs> Like trying to do stealth, and I'm like, fuck uh-huh. it. Like I don't want to fucking fight people. I don't want to shoot anyone. I just, uh-huh. I'm almost done. I like get spotted, so I'll just jump off the cliff <laughs> and, re- and just restart, and then just go through and figure it out. Uh-huh. Which I don't know if they wanted people to do that, but pff, it's fine. Yeah, I, I like it. Um, I was gonna say my only criticism, but I want to talk about photo mode first. Oh I yeah, dis- I discovered it yesterday. Photo mode. This is what makes this game good. 
For this is the only reason this game is getting a, a 20 out of 10. <laughs> Uncharted fanboy. Well, Naughty Dog fanboy. By yeah. the way, I'm the Naughty Dog fanboy. Yeah. We joked about him being the Naughty Dog fanboy. It's if, me, though. If you missed that, I didn't pre order it. I did. I got the scrub edition. I got the real edition of three and four. Yeah. I was late to the party. <laughs> I didn't I didn't have a console for one or two. Yeah. They weren't they were I did. I was yeah. like, cool, this is like Indiana Jones yeah. meets James Bond. Yeah. Hoy, 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 hoy. Meets James hoy, Bond. Hoy hoy hoy. Hoy hoy hoy. hoy, hoy. <laughs> uh I should get a naughty dog tattoo. Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's record it. Yeah, if, uh, iPhone, uh, uh, Facebook. Photo exclusive. mode. Uh, best, best, best new part of Uncharted. It's like completely missable because, <clears throat> like, I only paused to quit the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really? I but, spent like 20 minutes going through all the settings. Yeah. But. Yesterday, I just like paused it to go to the bathroom and then I came back and I was like, what's photo mode? And then I turned it on and hit the sticks <clears throat> and I was like, holy shit. Yeah. There are so many options. Yeah. So basically, for, 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 for those of you that don't know, photo mode lets you, you can frame a shot. It lets you move the camera around. Um, you can like adjust depth of field. You could adjust like a uh, field of view. Um, like there's filters, saturation, uh, saturation, like, like a lot of different, shit. all kinds of stuff. And then you can like hide your character, hide the menus, you know, hide everything. And then like take a screenshot. That's all it is. It's basically Naughty Dog, like giving themselves a pat on the back, being like, our game's fucking gorgeous. <laughs> no one's seen anything like this before on a console. They're going to want pictures. Uh huh. Let's let's put in let's some. Let's let them let, take yeah. their fi- pictures and yeah. make them really good. Yeah. And it's like okay, it's nice. Let's I, do I this. like. I've probably spent upwards of an hour and a half, maybe two hours total, just fucking around with photo mode so far. It's, I, I oh, spent it's so five great. minutes and I was like, I can't, I can't do this. Yeah. I want to play the game. Yeah, I know. That's I'll come that's back to this. That that was there. Yeah, that was, that's the downside. <laughs> but uh, oh, it's so good, so good. So your one criticism. My one criticism. Well, you're wrong. Yeah, obviously. Okay, just making sure we know. I mean, it's not even really a, a complaint. Well, I'm fanboying, so yeah. you're wrong. Um, Cop the point. initial loading, <clears throat> whenever you start the game. Oh, yeah, it's great. It's long. I mean, yeah, but that's how you get to play the game with no loading. Exactly. Well, I, like, my, my, like... It takes like a minute and a half. It's like comparing that to like what we've dealt with with Bloodborne, which I also gave like a 10 out of 10. That, that's what I'm saying. It's not really <laughs> like like... That's my criticism, okay. and it doesn't even matter. Gotcha. Okay. I'm just like whenever I'm just being a fanboy. <laughs> yeah. Whenever I started the game for the first time, I was waiting for like it. Was, I was like, okay, new save file. Let's go. Yeah. And then I sat there for what felt like three minutes, and I was just like, what the fuck? But mm-hmm. then there was no stutter from like auto save. <clears throat> no, yeah. like like uh, in between. They don't even screens. tell you when it's auto saving unless you no. pause it. <laughs> yeah, and it's just like okay. Like, I played this game for six, like, not six hours, five hours straight, mm-hmm. and it didn't notice any interruption that yeah. I didn't cause. So, yeah. I mean, and there's a lot of, like, loading built in. Mm-hmm. You know, they have the, like, pull the crank or, like, lift the door with your buddy, and that, yeah. that loads it. And Oh, that just, rem- you can change that so you don't have to tap. You can just hold the button down. I saw that, but I, I something inside of me likes to tap. I know. Like, I didn't <laughs> change it, but, like, occasionally... I mean, probably on later playthroughs, I'm going to be like, you know what? I don't want to tap anymore. Yeah, I'll probably do it for, like, the speed run. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. But I, I, just the fact that they included that option, I was like, cool. That's nice. My carpal tunnel thanks you. <laughs> oh, I feel like I just got, like, a shock through my laptop. You maybe did. Maybe. It could have just been love all, tap. all in my head. Love tap. That's the one you hit the triangle <laughs> button a whole lot, and you love Uncharted 4. See, I'm going to give Uncharted 4 a uh, Uncharted 4 out of F-10. 4. Not a four out of ten. Uncharted four out of uh, ten. A four. What's the exchange rate on numbers to Uncharted fours? What do you mean? One Uncharted four equals twenty. Oh, out of one. Twenty out of ten. But I it's twenty sixteen. It's it's. You know, everyone that knows <laughs> me decently well knows I'm like. Unless this game was like a huge disappointment, is it's getting it's getting my my full love and ten out of ten mm-hmm. appreciation. I haven't beaten it yet, but and, and we weren't going to record this yet because we haven't beaten it. Um, because I, I only know really one person that I've paid attention to that reviewed it before they beat it, and they were like, "It's a great game." Is it better than Uncharted Three? Eh, I don't know. Is it better than The Last of Us? Definitely not. But I mean, it's a great game so far. Mm-hmm. I haven't beaten it yet. Beat the game and was like, "This is a masterpiece." Mm-hmm. Like that ending. 
was like one of the like hands down like couldn't have asked for a single better ending and i was like fucking like and no one knows what's coming that's the best part you go through there were so many theories and like everyone thought they figured it out and like you did not fucking see that coming and they it was didn't expect perfect. the pirates to come back to life maybe and reenact uh, pirates of the caribbean dude that'd be dope it just plays the entire movie, <laughs> the movie? <at> the end. <laughs> like yep you you got my vote <laughs> but i don't know i like i'm really like hearing that i'm like really excited because like i want i want this series to be done with this one mm-hmm. you know sony owns the ip so can they hand it to someone else and make like prequels I'm, they might i feel like they have a like naughty dog being a first party studio like there's enough mutual respect there that they probably won't do that uh-huh. not that and naughty dog said they'd be perfectly fine with it but you know i think they would understand like ending on that that perfect note how important that is for their series i could see some Re- re-release it and down oh, yeah. the line or I was something saying, like a different company doing like remastered versions or re-releases That's fine. of one two and three but like oh, wait, we don't need any more yeah we don't need so. we don't need any more prequels like let's just let it let it be done i just want to play an entire game as young nate uh breaking into different places and just like looking at stuff you're weird. I don't really want that. All right. But it'd be silly. I'll kick the mic. To, to breathe in? <laughs> 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 All right. Well, what do you give one? You can't rate it. You don't even know numbers. Yeah. Uh, great game. Story is fantastic so far. It only gets better. Yeah. I uh, we'll only see. gets better. I'm going to play it after this. You want to look in the art book? No. Um,. It's right there. We can. Look I, I hope the multiplayer lives up to Uncharted 2's multiplayer. I really. You say really, multiplayer really weird. Multiplayer. Yeah. It's like multiplier. You say it like <laughs> multiplier. Yeah. Uh, that's a that's a new thing that has just, just happened now. Right now. <laughs> I thought so, <laughs> but, but you said it twice, <laughs> and I was like, I'm locked in. He's now. a weird man. Okay. <laughs> but um, add that to the list when we talk about weird shit. Um, <laughs> but. Uncharted 2's multiplayer there you go. was great in the fact, like the co-op. I know, the, the co-op's not there. Were, it's, was it's, great. It's not there. I'm, I looked. I, I, unless they added it in stealth, that I haven't seen a certain thing, anything written about it. There's no more co-op. That's sad, but I played the the we beta. We played the beta. The beta's fine. I mean, yeah, it, was it was hard. We kind of like got like wrecked a little bit, but that's only because people were running around with shotguns in the true. in the hooks. True. So. Oh yeah. We, one hit kill machines. Yeah. Uh, whatever we'll, we'll, teams we'll, we'll see. Together. We'll see what happens. Otherwise, I mean, it, the, it's it's fine. I once I get the platinum, I feel like I'm gonna be done with Uncharted for a while. Similar to when I got the the platinum in Uncharted one, and I was like, I'm gonna do two and three. No. No. Nope. I needed a break. Even though that was the hardest one. I know. I know. That's the thing. It's like I've got the speed run. I think I don't know how hard that'll be with this, but hopefully on a day off, I'll just sit down and just beat it. But it only took Greg Miller five point <clears throat> five hours. Did he beat it? Mm-hmm. Oh, nice, nice. I'm glad I he saw did. that tweet today. Good. I didn't know that he had done it yet. That's awesome. Well, this has been another installment of the Double Crown Talk Time. You can catch us on Twitter. I'm at underscore Matthew Creek. I'm at Nablith. Have you played Uncharted Four? Let us know down in the comments. What do you think of it? Give us a, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of what we do. Yeah, we like and try to. Maybe we'll do. We should. We should definitely do a multiplayer. Video. We'll do some multiplayer stuff. We should do something. Um, I don't know. That's probably the extent of what we can do. There's not a whole lot you can do with this, but yeah, you know, spoilers and stuff like that. But because I mean, it's and not no one wants it. to just watch you play the story. No. <laughs> yeah. And this game isn't buggy enough to have funny bugs. Exactly. So that's what I meant. Like, there's not like there's you can no do with point. it. There's no point. There's literally. Did no you see point. that graphic pop in? Like a half second late. Ho 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 ho! Naughty dog, more like shitty dog. Ho 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 ho! Thanks guys. for watching. Oh. Oh, you go first. No. Okay, I will. Leave a comment. And goodbye. <laughs>